Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am filming a half high-end half drugstore makeup tutorial. I've never filmed one of these before and I've had you guys like request that I do this. So I thought I would go ahead and film it for you all today. If you all really like this, let me know down in the comments and I will film more of these tutorials for you all. Um, but if you guys would like to see how to get this makeup look, just keep on watching and I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. I have a lot of products that are very comparable to each other, like high-end versus drugstore. I went ahead and moisturized my face um, off camera, like after I got out of the shower. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my foundation. And I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. So my high end side is going to be here on the left and my drugstore side is going to be here on the right side. First I'm just going to dot some of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation on this side of my face. And then I'm just going to use my Dampen Real Technique sponge to blend this foundation in on this side. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more foundation on this side. And then with a different dampened Miracle Complexion Sponge by Real Techniques, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Um, and I'm going to put that on the opposite side. I feel like this is the hardest part about doing a like split face makeup tutorial is the foundation part. And I feel like the foundation shades are a little different. Um, I feel like the L'Oreal one is maybe a little lighter, but I think it kind of oxidizes just a little bit. Um, so it, hopefully it'll match a little better like shade wise. But the actual like texture and everything of the foundation is very, very comparable to the um, Urban Decay Naked Skin. At least in my opinion it is. It's a good like buildable foundation. I think maybe the L'Oreal True Match Foundation has slightly more coverage um, than the Naked Skin. Like the Naked Skin, like they can have the same coverage look, but you have to add like one more extra layer of the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Whereas with the L'Oreal True Match, like in one layer, it looks you know more full coverage okay next I'm gonna go in with my concealer and for the hot inside I'm gonna be using my NARS creamy radiant concealer and on my drugstore side I'm gonna be using the Maybelline fit me these are both very comparable concealers I would say that the NARS creamy radiant has a little more coverage like it's a little more full coverage than the Maybelline fit me but they are similar Like I said, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me here on this side. I also feel like the Maybelline Fit Me is a little more like liquidy than the NARS Creamy Radiant. A Radiant Creamy. I always call it Creamy Radiant, but I think it's Radiant Creamy. Yeah, Radiant Creamy. Next, I'm going to go ahead and set everything. And for the face powder, I actually don't own any high-end face powders. Like, the only face powder I use is my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. So, that's what I'm going to use today to set my foundations. I just really, really like this powder. It's just my all-time favorite. So, I just don't even bother with using anything else. Because this is such a great setting powder. To set my under-eye concealer, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and I'm going to go in with this very first color in the palette and I'm going to use that to set my under eye concealer over here and then I'm just going to flip the brush well I probably need to clean the brush off a little bit Oops. I'm just going to use my color switch to kind of lightly clean this brush and then I'm going to go in with my NYX highlight and contour pro palette and I'm going to go in with the shade here and I'm going to use that color to set my under eye concealer over here. Next I'm going to move on to my eyebrows and 
for my brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz on this side and the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer um, in the color brunette over here. My Anastasia, my Anastasia Brow Wiz is in the color caramel, so I know that like my eyebrows are going to end up being different colors because I don't have the darker shade of the Anastasia Brow Wiz right now. I ran out of it. And since I love this pencil so much, and I also really like the NYX Micro Brow, which I actually ran out of that one, um, so I'm trying to use this one up. But since I love both of those, this L'Oreal one and the NYX one, I just haven't went back to purchase another Anastasia Brow Wiz. I mean, these other ones work really great, so. But just for the sake of this video, on like I said, on this side I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Caramel. And like I said, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the color Brunette. I'm going to try to use a light hand with this L'Oreal one just because the colors are different. And if I press too hard with this pencil, then it's going to be really obvious that it's darker. I have like the weirdest spot for a zit. Like I'm getting a zit right in this area and it hurts so so bad. Like it's not very visible but it just hurts so bad. Okay and then I'm just gonna take the little spoolie side and just brush that through. Which I did a comparison video on these two on these two a saver splurge. So if you'd like to see like my thoughts about these I'll link that video down below. I go like more in depth about stuff. And then I'm gonna use my Benefit Gimme Brow on this eyebrow over here, my hat inside. Which I do really like this um, this Benefit Gimme Brow. Like I really like the brush on this. And then on this side here, I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal. I think this was called like Brow Stylist Plumper or something. All the wordings rubbed off. This is in the color medium to dark. And I'm just going to use this to set my brows. I do like this product. I think, however, whenever I was blonde, I liked the blonde one a little better than this darker one. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe if it's a little too dark for my brows and maybe that's why I tend not to be super drawn to this. Um, but I mean it's okay like I do like it it's just I liked the blonde one better whenever I was blonde for my bronzer on this side I'm going to use my NARS Laguna bronzer and on the drugstore side I'm going to be using my NYC smooth skin bronzing face powder in the color sunny I'm just going to go in with the bronzer side here Laguna NARS Laguna I mean, NARS Laguna is definitely my favorite hat and bronzer. I just love it. And I'm just gonna kinda wipe this brush off on my Viewer Mona color switch. I don't know if I said earlier what this thing was. And you can get the color switch like online at Amazon or ViewerMona.com. Um, and you can also get it at Sephora now, I think. So I'll just link down below all the places where you can get it because I know I have, you guys ask me where I get it every time I use it in a video. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my NYC bronzer and Sunny on this side. I will say that Sunny is a little more warm toned than Laguna and it is a little more intense. But once you get it on, it gives you the same sort of effect and it is like a matte bronzer. It's definitely one of my all-time favorite bronzers for the from the drugstore for sure. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my blush. And I'm going to be using NARS Orgasm Blush on this side here. This is definitely my all-time favorite hat and blush. So pretty. And then I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Visible Lift in Gold or Peach Gold Lift, which this blush color is so similar to Orgasm. Um, in the pan, it looks a little different. And this is a cream blush, whereas uh, NARS Orgasm is a powder. But as you can see, like once you get them on your cheeks, like they look identical. So if you're wanting a good dupe for NARS Orgasm, this blush is perfect. And then for my highlight, I'm going to be using the Becca 
Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal. I just said that weird. Opal? <laughs> I want to go back and get moon, or Moonstone. I think that's what it's called. It's like the lighter one. But I have yet to get that one. Um, and I'm just going to lightly put that here on my cheekbones. And then I'm just going to wipe this brush off. And I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in the color Blessed Gems. It's such a similar color to um, the Becca one. And actually, I feel like the e.l.f. one is a little more intense, like has a more intense highlight than the Becca one. I don't know if on camera you can really see a difference, but when they're swatched next to each other, you can see a difference. And then for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring too. So I'm gonna go back in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and I'm gonna go in with the very first color in this palette. And I'm going to put this here in the hollowed out areas of my cheekbones. Just going to use this e.l.f. Ultimate Kabuki brush to blend that out. And then I'm just going to clean this brush off on the color switch. Whoops, sorry, I just totally hit the mic. And then I'm going to go back in with my NYX um, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. This thing is so grubby. I don't know if you can see all my fingerprints on this thing. I use it all the time. And then I'm going to go in with this color here, which is the most similar color to that Kat Von D shade. And I'm just going to contour with this. The Kat Von D one is a little more cool toned than this NYX one, but I mean, honestly, once you get it on, you can't really tell a huge difference. I also have a Saver Splurge video um, comparing these two. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it down below. I go like more in depth about what's similar and different about these two palettes. Okay, so for my high-end lipstick, I'm going to be using MAC Lipstick in Snob. And I'm going to put this high-end lipstick on my upper lip, and then I'm going to put my drugstore one on lower instead of doing... Well, maybe I should do like a half and half. Okay, I will. I'll do, you know, just half this one and half the drugstore one. Do it a true half and half. And then my drugstore dupe is the CoverGirl Outlast Longwear Plus Moisture. And this is in the color Phantom Pink, I think. Yeah, Phantom Pink. They're pretty close to the same color. Next, I'm going to move on with my eyes. And first, I'm going to do, I'm going to prime my eyelids. For the high end side, I'm going to be using my NARS eyeshadow primer. And then I'm going to be using my Milani eyeshadow primer on this side. I would say, like, a more comparable dupe to this Milani one is the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer potion stuff. Um, but I don't have that right now. So I'm just going to be using this NARS one. And then I'm just going to go in with my Milani eyeshadow primer, put a little bit here on my eyelid, and then I'm just going to blend that out. I found that these eyeshadow palettes are similar. Um, this CoverGirl True Naked one has a lot more um, like shimmery colors in it, whereas the Urban Decay Naked Basics only has one shimmery eyeshadow in it, which is this first one. It's more of a satin. It's not really a shimmer. Um, but as you can see, like the CoverGirl one has a lot more colors. Um, the black shade in the CoverGirl one is more of a really dark brown. It's not really black. Um, but the one here in the Urban Decay Naked um, Basics palette is black black. Um, so yeah, I mean there are similarities and differences to these palettes, but you can create some similar looks with these. So I'm going to be using these two palettes today to create my eyeshadow look. I'm just going to be using my Sigma E40 brush. And I'm going to go in with Naked 2 in the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. And I'm going to put this color here in the crease of my eyelid. I'm just getting over like an ear infection and I also had um, like a throat virus thing, pharyngitis or something, um, which ugh, I just have been feeling so gross lately. <laughs> so I feel like I've been coughing a lot more recently so I had to like stop a couple of times whenever I was filming because it was coughing and I've got like a my eyeshadow brush is shutting on me 
which I need to buy some new eyeshadow brushes. Um, so I don't know. I've been wanting to try out the Morphe ones. I don't know if any of you guys have used any of the Morphe brushes, but you should let me know down in the comments if you like Morphe brushes and what you would recommend for me to get. But they have been really good brushes. I mean, they still work fine. It's just sometimes with this blending brush, it sheds now. It used to never shed, so I don't know. I think it's like time to get a new one. And then out of the CoverGirl palette, I'm gonna go with this shade here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this brush off on my color switch. And I'm just gonna put this here in the crease. Which, as you can see with the CoverGirl one, it's not quite as dark as the Urban Decay one. Um, you kinda have to build it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade here in the CoverGirl palette. I'm gonna pat this color all over my eyelid. And then with the um, Basics palette, Urban Decay Basics, I'm gonna go in with this one, W-O-S. And I went ahead and cleaned the brush off. And then I'm just gonna use that as my lid color over here. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this CoverGirl palette and I'm going to grab this shade here. I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line. Make it fairly intense. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Bacon. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay um, Basics palette with Faint. I went ahead and cleaned this brush off, and I'm just going to run this here on the lower lash line. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my liquid liner. And for the high end side, I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And then on the drugstore side, I'm gonna be using my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen. And these two products are so similar to each other. I've been thinking about doing a Save or Splurge video kind of comparing these. So if you guys would want to see like a more in-depth video of me like explaining what the similarities and differences are and just, I don't know, go in a little bit more in-depth about it, just let me know down in the comments and I will definitely film that video. I just didn't know if it would be like redundant to film that since I'm doing this and kind of showing them in action together. For my mascara today, um, the two mascaras that I own that are pretty similar is the Benefit Roller Lash and my CoverGirl The Super Sizer Mascara. So I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes up and apply, you know, Benefit over here, CoverGirl over here. First, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Roller Lash. Which, I've had this mascara for a little bit, but I don't really use it all that much. I mean, like, it's an okay high-end mascara. Like, I mean, it's good. But, I mean, I really like the CoverGirl The Super Sizer better than this one, so that's why I tend to never really use this um, Benefit Roller Lash. But, I mean, it's a decent mascara. I mean, it's not bad. And I'm just going in with the Super Sizer over here. I'm sorry, I know that my mascara faces are crazy. <laughs> And I filmed a video last week, or I don't know, maybe I'll post this one the same week that I... No, wait a minute. I, yeah, I did. I posted that video last week 
comparing the regular Super Sizer with the Super Sizer Fabbers. And I really thought that they looked very comparable, but you guys, like a lot of you guys, thought that this one looked better um, and looked darker on my eyelashes, which whenever I went back to edit the footage, I could see what you guys were talking about, but at the time, in real life, I didn't notice much of a difference at all. So, but I mean, I do really like the Super Sizer Mascara. Like, it is really good. Um, if you haven't seen that comparison video, if you're interested, I'll link that down in the description box. So this is the makeup look completed. I really want to put some false lashes on today, but I don't have like an hot like I don't have a high end pair of eyelashes, but I really want to wear some false lashes today. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put some on. Um, hopefully you guys won't mind since I mean it's not like high end a drugstore, but I want to put on some of these um, Kiss Ever Easy lashes, and these are the number threes. Um, I just want my lashes to look more intense since my liner is like super intense today. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put these on and then I will come back. But this is the makeup look completed. So this is the hat inside. And then this is the drugstore side. So you all will have to let me know down in the comments which half you guys liked better or if you pretty much thought it looked the same on both sides. If you guys liked this video or found it helpful, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. And if you guys did like this, I will film some more half and half like high-end drugstore makeup looks. I don't have a whole ton of high-end makeup products, so it's kind of hard for me to film these. But if you guys do enjoy these, I will definitely go out and buy some high-end products to compare with some of the drugstore stuff that I have. So yeah. Um, if there's some other like requested videos you all would like to see from me, please leave them down in the comments because um, I want to do more videos that you guys request or maybe if there's a video that you have requested but I haven't done it yet, just leave it in the comments. Um, maybe I didn't see your comment or maybe I forgot about it. But yeah, I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.